Haram issue in Nigeria complex, UK government. The United Kingdom has described the trend of violence caused by the activities of Boko Haram sect and allied groups as complex that require varied approaches to resolving. This was made known on Tuesday by the British Minister for Africa, James Dodridge, when he led a delegation to pay a costly visit to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, jo Geoffrey Onyema in Abuja. Dodridge assured that the UK remains a strong ally of Nigeria in the effort to mitigate the challenges posed by terrorism and insurgency. He stated, this situation is massively complex and no partnership is going to resolve the multi multiplicity of problems, whether it is Boko Haram or Dutch or Dutch or a number of other issues. In the UK, you have a strong partner across the full gamut of issues. So it is not just about intelligence and hard security and military. It is about societies. It is about humanitarian support. It is about education and development partnership. It is not an end game. We don't get to a point where we would say this is the end of our relationship with Nigeria because we got what we want. We set a higher bar. We are we are long-term partners. He maintained that the UK and Nigeria relationship remains important on the African continent. The UK minister added that this is not just Niger this is not just because Nigeria is a big and populous country, but also because of the role that Nigeria play in the African region. He said both countries will deepened post-COVID-19 relations and work together to tackle climate change as well as realize the objective of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Yeah, this is another issue that needs te technique and tactics to tackle. Now, the issue of insurgency in Nigeria has been long that it lied down and nothing was actually done about it from the beginning. That is why it has escalated into what we are facing today. Now, the foreign people have seen that the insecurity challenges in Nigeria is very complex. So it's not a simple matter that one or one nation or one country from abroad can come into it and solve it immediately, as Nigeria thought. Now, I want to say here that the Nigerians has formed an organization upon their head that does not have an end. Now, when these things start from the beginning, the only, the only leader that I saw that was going here and there trying to quench it down was the former president, Goodluck Jonathan. He tried, but there was an opposition that why are you trying to wipe off the Muslim sect? which means they set it. So what I am trying to say here, that really the insecurity and insurgency in Nigeria are very complex. And so to try to solve it overnight is not an easy, it's not an easy issue. So, but if Nigerians can stand and begin to take a step, positive step, I believe that we overcome it within a time. You see, there is no country of the world that have no challenges. They have. But it's like the one Nigeria is facing has become, has become complex. 
it, it, it has become delicate that no one knows what to do. Right now, the, 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 the people in Nigeria are craving for secession. And therefore, what the present administration is doing is to begin to flog, is to begin to bully, is to begin to treat the people who ever said that with a hard hand instead of dialogue with them. Now, like what the UK said in this news, that it said, in the UK, you have a strong partner across the full gamut of issue. So it is not just about intelligence or hard security and military. It is about societies. It is about humanitarian support. It is about education and development partnership. So, so if the, the, the president is trying to, 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 to handle people with a hard hand, with a military hand, I tell you, nobody will hear him. The more he tried, the more people will resist and revolt what he's trying to do. Most especially when he plays one tribe over another. You see, there is a problem. Instead of you to dialogue with people. Now, now, how does he develop people? What people need at this point in time is develop them educationally, job opportunity, build infrastructure, build schools, build hospitals, build roads, bridge. People should have good drinkable water. People should have, I mean, where they will, where they, they will call a good place to stay. People should benefit from the government. But no, instead of the government to, 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 I mean, to begin to do this, no, they, they are doing the other way around. And that is why people are revolting. So I would like to encourage our president, stop handling people with a hard hand. Stop using a military system because nobody will listen to you. It's just like when you are beating a child every day, one day the child will hold the cane and say, Daddy, what is happening? So that is what is happening to Nigeria. Thank you.